All right, so right in front of me here, I've got a couple of sticks of RAM, and I've got a solid state drive, which is a form of a hard drive. And there are a bunch of different kinds of RAM and solid state drives, but that's not what we're talking about today. The point of today's video is to cover what's the difference? What is RAM, which is sometimes called memory, and what is a solid state drive, sometimes called storage? What's the difference between them? And uh, yeah, that's the subject of today's video. So to learn about this, we're gonna go to the garage, which is the best place to learn just about everything. All right, welcome to my garage. And the best way I know how to explain computers is like you're working on something in your garage. So in my garage, I have these shelves that hold wood that I use for projects and they hold tools that I use for projects. Now, if I wanted to work on something in my garage, I can't keep these here, at least not permanently. Right? I can't keep my lumber on this shelf and I can't keep my tools on this shelf if I'm gonna get anything done. I have to bring them together in a space and that is this dinky little table right here that I made out of scrap wood. Right? When I wanna work, when I wanna work on a project, I work on it on this table. And so this storage is like your hard drive. All of your programs, all of your files, they all generally speaking live here on the shelf in storage. And sometimes your hard drive is called storage. I'll be like, well, how much storage does your computer have? I have 512 gigabytes of storage on my computer. That's how big your shelves are, so to speak, how much stuff you can fit on your computer. Now, when you actually open a program, it's like taking the wood and the tools from the shelf and placing them on the table so you can work with them. This table is your RAM. This is what they'd refer to as your memory. Now, I don't know why they call it memory because obviously like if you're remembering something, it's stored somewhere, you know, it's something that happened in the past. So it's a little confusing in that sense, but memory means that you're working with it now instead of keeping it in storage. And so your computer, you want a lot of storage so you can have a lot of files for sure. But sometimes you want to make sure that you have a lot of RAM because if you don't have a big enough work table, you can only do so many projects, right? And so you need both storage and RAM in order to have a good functioning computer. Now, you can have a small work table, a bigger work table, or a really big work table. And that would be like having a little bit of RAM, like maybe four gigabytes, um, or like eight gigabytes of RAM, or 16 or 32. You know, you could have a lot of RAM, and then you could have a lot of storage. You could store a lot of lumber. You could store a lot of tools. That is essentially how I think of a computer working, is that you store files, but when you're using files, you take them from the shelf and you put them on your work table so you can work with them. Hopefully that made sense and maybe a little bit better sense than maybe you've understood it in the past. That's how I like to think about it. So thanks so much for watching. If you found this useful, I would appreciate it if you left a like and, a sub and subscribe to the channel. I always mess up on the word subscribe. Anyway, you know the drill. Thanks so much. We'll see you later.